Lonely Attack on the Different World, web novel, chapter 37. How did she get chosen as the number one good person? Day 23, morning, white weirdo in. In the morning, I went to wake Haraka-kun, but he wasn't there. His luggage also disappeared. The only thing left was a note he left without saying anything. He is gone. I think he left last night. Why? Why didn't he say anything? The note had only, I'll check on the idiots, wait here. In other words, he went back to the forest and, wait here? Does it mean that he will come back? He should have written, I'll be back. If so, what if he doesn't? Does this mean that he isn't coming back? I can't understand anything with such short message. Say it properly. But I probably wouldn't understand even if he tells me I don't want to. Let's go to the forest, to the cave. But, but Haraka-kun wrote that we should wait here. We have to go, or it will mean that we abandon him again. And what if we go? Can we fight? With other people? With classmates? We can. Even if, even if I have to fight the boys, even if it's scary, I will. We have to save Haraka-kun. Even if we can't fight, let's go. Leaving Haraka-kun all on his own. We can't. No, absolutely no. He wrote wait here. He saved us and we're going to die just like that? That won't do. But Shimasaki-chan and the others want to go. We can't abandon them and wait here. We, we are fine. We were tamed. We are tamed. So we are fine. We shouldn't. Shimasaki-chan, everyone, you know why he wrote to wait here? Because only those ready to kill other people are allowed to go there. But, but, Haruko-kun, alone? Even if, even if he wanted to avoid additional victims, what's the point if he's going to become a victim himself? We are back, poster girl, and we brought some souvenirs. Eh? President? Oda-kun and the others came back. A pandemonium of an uproar, all hell broke loose. It's absolutely impossible to make out what anyone is saying. The topics are also all over the place. No order to question, chaos and confusion. This is what Haruka-kun was talking about. The talent of Oda-kun and the others being unable to read the mood. For starters, Shimasaki-san's group apologized in tears, said their thanks, lowered their heads, and tried to leave for the forest. At which point, we hurried to restrain them, and then rushed to stop the athletic girls who got fully equipped for battle before we even noticed. Why? When did this happen? Then we dragged back Vice President B, who was about to leave through the gates, and also held back Oda-kun and the others, who tried just walking away, pretending not to notice what was going on. Making everyone sit down to at least decide on a plan and strategy, I take control, though my thoughts were still in great disarray. Eh? Don't, eh, me? Were you trying to go all by yourself? Eh, but didn't you say only those ready to kill other people are allowed to go? She did. Why was she voted number one on the good person ranking? Is it her chest? Did they vote for the breasts? Which part about them is so good? Shimasaki-san, you and the others should also calm down. We are all comrades here. Please, we have to go. We survived, met Oda-kun and the others, and apologized. So, so this time, him. This time we have to find him. Please, let us go. We can kill. We can do it. Shimasaki-san's group is of a higher level than anyone else. They really are strong. That's because the tamed get a share of the experience points from their tamer. This means that Haruka-kun is continuing to fight alone. Certainly, Shimasaki-san and the others can take on even stronger opponents. And if it's for Haruka-kun, if it's to protect Haruka-kun's life, then they will even kill classmates without the slightest hesitation. They can. Previously, Haruka-kun was saying, Their eyes look like that of fanatics, so it was really scary. But it's not just like there are fanatics for Haruka-kun. They're insanely grateful to him, grateful enough to fall for the taming on their own. In the world that heard no prayers and had no hope nor salvation for them, Haruka-kun gave them all of that. And, to an extent, all of the other girls and even Oda-kun and his friends were the same. Everyone is willing to fight and kill for Haruka-kun. It might just be willingness, and it might prove no good when it's really needed. But even so, they are rushing to Haruka-kun, ready and willing to risk their lives and take the lives of others. Even so, why do you think he wrote Wait here. Restraining Otakun and the others, who are about to sneak out into the forest, not caring much for the conversation or the mood, we continue our discussion. We will get in the way. A burden? He doesn't want us to kill people? He doesn't want us to get killed. We aren't trusted? Too weak? He doesn't care? A baggage? What Haruka-kun is worried about is that we might be used as hostages against him. No, we are fine. We are over level 70 already and have equipment. Looks like Oda-kun and the others didn't read the mood and already went over level 70. They probably didn't read the mood and just kept grinding for experience. 
The Guildmaster said that the strongest people of this world, who are even called monsters by some, are over level 100. With our bonus stats, we would probably be more than evenly matched at level 70. And since we also have cheats, Otakun and the others are probably the strongest in this world. Even so, it seems that to defeat a big green wolf with a pack solo, one has to be at least among the people called monsters. That big green wolf was just one of many that Haruka-kun crushed with the sonic boom, creating a mysterious phrase in this world, multiple wolf collision accident, since Haruka-kun left alone, leaving us here to stay here and protect ourselves. Probably. There's no telling how many enemies are out there, Otakun replied, and Librarian Chan added, Yes, that's probably how it is. After all, those two probably talked with Haruka-kun the most in our world. That's why he pushed the insane amount of magic stones onto the guild that they obviously wouldn't be able to buy, making them owe us a favor. Then, saving the daughter of the local lord, and then the next day, the lord himself, even though Haruka-kun wasn't supposed to leave town, creating connections with everyone in the town. Right now, we will immediately receive information if they spot any other black-haired, dark-eyed people. With adventurers, soldiers, and common people on the lookout, this town is the safest place for us. So, why are you stopping everyone, yet are in full battle gear yourself, President? I got scolded. Why me? Eh, wait? 